workshop, we start off with the game. And what we start off with is the ability of the farmers to, to go ahead and, and mark it through a simulated year. And we use an actual corn price year from history. And then we give them nine different decision points to make that old crop marketing decision. We, we run through the markets, give them some market comments. They turn in slips every time. So we've got a back office in the back of the meeting room that actually inputs each person's marketing decisions. At the end of the night then, they get their own marketing decisions back in a result of how they would have performed in that example year, which is a real life year. So it's a real segmented, good adult learning experience that allows them to interact first of all, experience a real life market, and then later on we show them their results and we show it over 15 years of history. And what we found through these events was the most important aspect of having successful events and getting people to the sessions was when we had a local sponsor, a local county farm bureau, a local lender that stepped up to the plate and was a partner with us in collaborating to get that risk management education to those local producers. So they provide financial support, but I think even more important than that is they invite people to come. And it's that local connection that really makes these sessions work. Evaluation and project verification is very important and we've done a so much better job here in the past few years. The grant allowed us to actually follow up with some mailings to producers that came to our sessions. So five or six months after harvest, after they had attended our sessions, we asked them some questions. And we also used that mailing to remind them about some of the education that they had received. We've got excellent response in terms of numbers of people that actually changed their behavior and weren't storing corn and soybeans as long as they used to or were still very satisfied with the program. It's better than just that evaluation right after the meeting when everybody's got the glow. How does it stick and how, what difference does it make on people's farms? Since the workshop I've tr been trying to make some changes, uh, mainly widening my marketing window. I was uh, pretty stuck in not selling anything before it was harvested and uh, I have come to realize that uh, the best prices are often before that crop is raised so I'm trying to widen that window and market things farther ahead. I guess farming is a lot like uh, football. They say football is a uh, game of inches. Farming is a game of pennies, cents. If I can increase my uh, income on a bushel of corn uh, and we raise about 100,000 bushels a year, if I can increase that 10 cents a bushel, that's $10,000 to my income. And that's what this session, this strategy session helps us do is uh, uh, gain pennies. You know, just, they're small amounts sometimes, but they have a major impact on, on our profitability. We get so focused on day-to-day -day farm operation. The beans need to be sprayed or the corn needs to be picked and where are we going to put the last 30 acres of corn or the tractor's broken down. And sometimes you, oh yeah, the markets were down a penny or up three cents. Sometimes that kind of takes a back seat to the more, what appears to be the more important task of the day. And getting to the meeting and really focusing on that for a, an evening, you kind of change your mindset and, and it becomes easier to make a decision because you've been thinking about it longer. And, and you know, I remember what they said and I think uh, uh, it's a good time to let go of some green, you know, the next, probably the next morning or a day or two later, something like that. Well, we both done that. Haven't we, we have, we have come, I have come home from marketing club meetings and yeah. sold green the next yeah. day. I've done that yeah. more than once. We've both done that. Mm -hmm. I just, and we compare notes and I'll say, Rich, did you uh, sell any beans the next morning or any corn? And we'll talk a week later. Yeah, we both yeah, did. Yeah, I did. We didn't really compare I did notes. Too. <laughs>